Record. Hey everyone, Sword Now Rocks is here and doing a let's try for Battlefield 2042. And I got my boy Shadow Chaos here, and we're about to go ahead and jump in this real quick and give you our first impressions. Now Shadow has been playing a lot longer than me. So Shadow, can you yeah, give us bit, your, your uh yeah, your opinion on the game? At least what the beta. Can I say? What can I say? For for the beta, considering it is it is a beta. You try to be somewhat lenient in, in understanding that it is an older build of the game, but at the same token, the beta is also supposed to try to try to sell you the game in a way too. Right. So it's if this was like I don't know, just judging off of this, if this was like what we had to go off of, it'd be it's it'd be kind of a tough sell, I think, with a lot of the you know issues we've been running into. Not not ain't like a lot of crazy issues. But the occasional ones, you know, the occasional glitch in here and there, nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, hit detection, hit detection is one of my things that's been kind of like off sometimes. Like when you're when you're hitting these dudes, like when you're shooting them, it, it, it the hits are on point, and then other times it'll be like you're you're shooting and it's almost like you're shooting all around all around them. Like the the rounds don't really impact or sh like go where you're aiming at like every single time. It's really weird, uh, even if you're using like the same like. You're aiming at the same exact spot using the same like whatever whatever reticle and all that stuff. It's it's really odd, isn't that? but I mean it does feel like a battlefield game, which is nice. And it I kind of have to agree with you a little bit like we were talking about a little earlier about uh, it being uh, better in 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 our opinion than uh, Battlefield Five. Yeah. So what do you think about um and in, in terms of you, you said you said that. That is definitely a buggy and glitchy, and I've seen it before, and I've seen other people talk about it, uh, especially the whole thing with the reticles. It's funny how you bring that up because I've seen that happen to a lot of people. Uh, mm. In terms of like this, because I know you was there for the Battlefield 4 launch. I wasn't there. Yeah. I didn't play it until like afterwards. Uh, which, which one do you think is buggier? I think the Battlefield 4 launch was actually a, a little bit buggier than even what this beta is showing. But, but what do you think? Yeah, yeah. No, actually, actually, I, I have to agree with that. Definitely, the the Battlefield. Four beta was a lot rougher than this, and this is just being that it is a beta. It's it's definitely smoother than that. It's still, unfortunately, this is very classic Battlefield with the whole <laughs> with, with the the whole uh, kind of glitchiness, especially this close to launch. Uh, some of the glitches just shouldn't be in the game, realistically. Uh, and just I think maybe maybe it is because it's on PS4. Uh, I know I've heard you know different things for, for like PS5 and Xbox Series X and, and PC. It runs a little bit smoother, but I think it's because the game was probably more core designed for that than, than it was for this. Did, did, did you just take my kill? No, I, I didn't. I didn't even shoot shot. Oh, okay, no, the game just took like forever to tell me that I actually killed that guy. Yeah, oh, that's, that's it. Here. Happened. There's a helicopter up there. I mean, so sometimes, oh. sometimes the game, um, was a heli? <laughs> yeah, a helicopter got me. I don't, know, I don't know if you can bring me back. I don't want you to get shot up because of me. Uh, Buddy, how you revive? Hold square. Hold square. Huh? Yeah. Yay! Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's that's one thing with these, uh, like, especially coming on top of this building, like, you gotta mm -hmm. be prepared to get shot down by it. Oh, yeah. By heli. It, it, it's so freaking annoying. Is there anybody else up here, or is it just us two? It was just us two. Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna, skip, I'm gonna skip to the deployment. I got an anti-aircraft uh, vehicle uh, down here, though. I'm gonna try to shoot that helicopter now. Yeah, a lot of graphical glitches, even when I'm going back into the, uh, into the system to like deploy, like the screen just starts freaking out. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I noticed that a number of other times. So, but like we were saying earlier, like this is supposed to be an older build of the game, and oh crap, I didn't even see that guy. Um, but like you said, I don't think it's it's no excuse to <laughs> still be releasing something like this, because you know first impressions do matter. They do. Definitely do. I agree. Crap, crap. Move to that door, crap Dang, this guy's shot in the back. Uh, What's 
Are you still on top of the building? No, no, no. I'm, um, I'm down by, uh... uh where is this? I think this is B. Uh, in the warehouse. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we got, we got some around it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I just have that anti-aircraft vehicle. They, they, they're stalking our building out here. I did, I did get, I did kill the helicopter that was killing us though. But they got the A1. Oh, they got a tank out there. What, what did you think about the uh, the extra stuff like the uh, the dog and all that? The... I'm not really impressed with the dog, to be honest. I'm not really impressed with it at all. There's like, it, it, like I, it's 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 cool because it does ID like enemies. It gives you like kind of like a uh, like an, an advanced warning system. Essentially, it's really what it is. Uh, that's what I see it as. Like it'll it'll tell you, you know, what I mean, like if enemies close by, it'll start like aiming at them, shooting at them. So then, kind of like, oh, okay, look, I, we have people there. This direction, it kind of gives you a heads up. But. If you're playing something like the engineer, you already have your you know, your little sentry gun that that already kind of does that for you. So it kind of the dog is one of those things that it's 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 a gimmick. I feel like, I feel like it's very gimmicky. Uh, if you were able to pilot it, I, I think it would be a little bit different. Um, because it's, seeing that it is automated, it's cool. Like it, you know, it, you know, aesthetic wise, like you know, you got like a four legged freaking. Uh, robot running around freaking helping you yeah. which I think is really cool so like it helps the visual aspect of the game I, I guess it's their but, way of kind of doing something different you no know, yeah and I and I respect that 100% I, and I appreciate that from them because this is something that I, I really miss Battlefield doing is being uh, uh, for lack of better words like really innovative um, yeah like, like them being the trendsetter Yes, and right, that's something that I feel they absolutely, and that's something that I think they've lost. Has been lost in translation over the past couple of years. Uh, as you've noticed through the past couple of releases, uh, Battlefield Five specifically is the biggest example of that. Um, when you know they, they did the first reveal trailer for it, it literally looked like a COD game. You, you know, I had characters with freaking samurai swords running around prosthetics and everything else and it was just really weird and awkward and it just did not or look like a battlefield game which is like a, a a cod cinematic trailer it, it, the fun um, part the funny part is that it's supposed to be like it was supposed to be world war ii but it was like this more edgy kind of i, I won't say steampunk but kind of yeah it had a bit of a steampunk feel kind of like it was doing its own thing but when they said like, "Oh no, it's supposed to be historically accurate and all that," it's like that's where they. So lost why it, it looks like a you know like a battle uh, a battle like a Call of Duty clone? I mean, it, that that's the reason why no one cares about Vanguard right now is because it's just it's doing a little too much. Like like what is going on? <laughs> yeah. Damn, I I keep exactly. forgetting that that Vanguard exists until I play like another shooter, <laughs> and then I then I remember that Vanguard's actually a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anybody that actually is like kind of looking forward to that. There's a ATV over there. Uh, where, where are you headed to? Ah, uh, uh, well I'm dead. I was, I was by <laughs> that. Headed nowhere now. <laughs> nowhere, just dead. But like the, the game is like it, it's fun. It's fun, but I just think that there should have been more in the beta. I mean, one map. To display one map, I felt like that wasn't enough. Uh, and one game mode, I felt like wasn't enough. I, I, again, it is a beta, but this felt more like this felt like more than one of those like tech demos that you'd get to play like at E3 or something. Yeah, where that's Which, all they really have is just like that one. The one, you know, they would show the one just like one game mode they want to focus on. We take. A uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, 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 where? Showing them what's what, but I, I could see one of the things that people were talking about before, which they weren't a huge fan of. Um, how when you do get kills, like it'll show the person's name in your in in your uh, in the middle of your screen, but then off to the right is where it has like your XP and all that stuff, which sometimes it can go missed. 
you can miss it sometimes, and, and you're like, oh, did I kill somebody, or did I do this, or capture an objective or something? Until you look to the right of your screen, and you're like, oh, yeah, I did. And I think that's kind of one of those one of those situations where it's kind of like, I feel like that's kind of important. You want to know what, what progress you're you're uh, you're bringing to your team if you're capturing an objective. Um, there isn't a lot of that. Yeah, that, that, that's another thing that could possibly be in the full game, but it's it's kind of Fun weird money. that it's actually not in here. Also, yeah. vehicles. Um, they don't seem as easy to control as, as the other games. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think... I, I, I can't remember how Battlefield 5 would try. I can't remember whether I like any of the stuff in there. <laughs> I mean, any of the vehicle stuff in there. But I remember Battlefield 1 being alright. Being, being yeah, uh, Battlefield 1 okay. was not bad. Yeah. And 4 it took some getting used to for me, but that might have been okay. the best one. I, I always I always come back to like bad company man. I feel like that one bad oh, company God. too. Here we go. This guy this guy is bad <laughs> company bad man. Bad company too. Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh Damn it! I got killed! <laughs> no! no! Got him. Nice. Got him. Hey there there's somebody there's somebody else around too. I don't, I don't, I don't oh Jesus! No, there, there's a couple people around. I didn't see the other guy. I forgot they can still shoot you even if you're controlling that machine, which is kind of cool that you can shoot people out of vehicles. Uh, I mean, obviously not tanks and stuff, but like if they're if they're in like in uh, uh, one of the one, one of the wheeled vehicles, I think that's that's actually really cool. Yeah, you can like shoot top the windows. Down, open, open vehicles. Mm -hmm. Yep, and even if you're controlling like in like a, a machine gun that's not necessarily exposed. Like you're exposed within the vehicle, which is kind of kind of dope. Um, the only thing is, so it's like a risk reward thing, and I think that's kind of makes it a little more fair. So you you're not just like not every vehicle is a freaking tank. Um, but but the my only thing is that I think they could have definitely brought back was uh for the civilian vehicles, like the regular vehicles. Why not allow you know you to shoot the vehicle and damage it? You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't you don't get that opportunity. Very, very odd that they would actually uh, get oh, rid of that. Dang. I haven't tried out the grappling hook yet. I haven't done like any of the specialist sort of sort of things. Where, where you at? That brings me to my next on concern. Wait, you don't like the uh, the grappling hook? No, 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 no not the grappling. I just wanted you. The the specialist thing. They're out there, they're out there. That's that's very much not something I Help. was hoping to get in the game. I'll be honest, like, uh, this this whole specialist thing, I, I get why it's there and I understand. It's there because the, Call of Duty did it that one time. The tried and true class system works. Like, there's a certain, like, I get it, everyone wants to innovate, everyone wants to lead their mark, everyone wants to be like, oh yeah, look, look what I brought to the table. But, there comes a time when you have to realize there's certain things that you don't need to change. There's just certain things that don't have to change. Just because it, it's been done for a long time, some things work as they are. So, are, are you saying that the specialist like stuff is pointless, or it, 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 if it's if it, it's, it basically is uh, the specialist Damn, is still, uh, still technically a class, <laughs> but you can since you can equip <laughs> any weapon, it kind of detracts a little bit from the specialist too. So, why have a specialist if you can already just pick any? Uh, any uh, gun to begin with, you know what I mean? Like obviously, oh, you yeah, like you get the, the medical package and you talk, talk about doing that, like medical package, yeah. assault package, and all that. Yeah, yeah, which which kind of like again, it's it shows it tells me the specialists are there for the gadgets. You're not picking them because of the guns, the things they bring to the table. You you're you're only using them for for their gadgets, which which is fine. I, I guess but... I think that's that's what they was going for though. Oh yeah, like, of course, of course. Just, just for the gadgets, we are losing. Which, which is fine, but at the same, the same token, like, it gives up the specialist classes a little less meaning. Because, it, I, I, like, I think you know, attaching certain certain guns to certain classes always kind of, you know, made you be like, oh crap, okay, I gotta, I gotta play this, 
this class is it's a give and take. Like if I'm gonna play the engineer, you know, I, I'm gonna be the guy blowing stuff up. If I'm gonna play the medic. I'm gonna be the guy freaking healing my friends and bringing people back. Instead of being, oh look, I'm I'm a I'm a sniper with a, a medic pack. You know what I mean? Or or resupply pack. So you know what I mean? Cause it kind of it kind of. Uh, I, I mean, I I kind of I kind of like the mix up a little bit. I don't mind it because I, I mean I, I'm taking full advantage of it, so I can't even say it's not helping me. You know what I mean? Because it is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, then they do something similar, and Battlefield Battlefield Five, and then Battlefield Five have the, that does also similar. I think so. I think so. I think it where did. Where it was just like you can pick like any class class for anything. So even so even if like you're assault, you can still have like the medic build, which seemed like it made. Okay. Okay, I'm getting shot from somewhere. I know, it seems like it made less sense there. It seems like it makes a little bit more sense here. So add a little more reversally. Okay, that's fair. Fucking piece of shit! That's fair, that's fair. Oh, okay, yeah, I, th I think that, that's, a, that's a not a bad way to look at it, honestly. It, it, yeah, I, I, I think it gives variety, but... I mean, I, I understand your opinion, too. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just, maybe I just need to let go of the past. I was, I was the, the, just about the, to say it. Really it seems like the, more of a, it is. yeah, it seems like you're looking at a more bias. of like an old school sort of lens. Lens. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I mean, you're basically part of the original. Uh, oh my God! What is with this this running glitch? Like, if you run close to somebody else, it'll pull you for some reason. I don't know that, if that's yeah. connection or whether it's. I don't know, or, or, or whether it's just the game itself. I can't honestly can't tell. Also, wasn't the grenades to uh to the trigger buttons before? Like, yes. why do I why do I have to press up on the grenade? Because uh, your uh, if you hold L1, it's uh, to do the customization for your weapons now. Yeah, instead. I... Oh yeah, what do, what do you think about that? I was actually gonna bring that up with you. I think that's the one feature that I thought was cool at first, but now seeing it in action, I don't particularly like it because I don't see me using it that much. I use actually, it. I, I use it occasionally. I use it occasionally, but it's not not enough to like justify having it. Like if I, I get what you're saying, because it's, it's not like to it's replace not like enough. a thing with like because I I can't with throw out my grenade. grenades quickly. Quickly, you Quick, know? yeah, it, that's that's yes, that's absolutely what it what it stumps me at. I mean, I'll have an impact grenade. grenade or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can't, you don't have that, you don't have that flexibility now. Yeah. Then you're stuck, like having to sit there and you know choose. Okay, I'm gonna use this instead. I'm gonna have to hit up, uh, hit up on the defense, which is not something that you're accustomed to doing. I, I feel like maybe maybe if you're on PC, if you, you know you have more control, so more versatility to do that. And I think maybe that's why they kept it. Plus, you you are able to play mouse and keyboard on consoles now, really. So yeah, you can. I mean, you, I guess that they have it that way so you can somebody can remap it if they want. Yeah. Let me heal you. But okay, the, the, I mean, you. even for for this, there isn't really any remapping no, for no. like the console controller, which is is kind of crappy. Because I would rather just have the D-pad be like for. You know the different customization things, right? Rather than have it on the L1, like you said, if you want to throw out a grenade quick, you don't have the opportunity to. Yeah, and they should give me, they should give us the opportunity to actually change that. Like, what if I don't want that quick customization feature? Mm -hmm. Not, not saying that it isn't cool. I'm not saying that it isn't useful for some people. I personally don't see myself using it that much. I already used it like maybe once this match. Yeah. And that's like one out of one time I've used it <laughs> so I've, it's like I've it's just something I probably w wouldn't use that much honestly I've only used it because the here, like I sometimes the the, the 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 freaking match when they start you or, or, or when you switch classes it'll re-default your whole entire class setup um, which is kind of annoying having to re-put the same exact I uh, you know customizations on weapons you already customized the previous match or five minutes ago. Um, so that that's kind of that's kind of annoying in that aspect. Like you said, it's, it's something I've used only when I needed to use it. It hasn't really proven it, its usefulness. 
and and the fact I, I, I'm a little nervous because it's like they eliminated the full customization on the on the on the menu where you can't you can't like do the attachments on the menu which I think that's where you should do it before you respawn not you know when you're spawned in the game why did they take that out can you tell me why they, they took that because out? they wanted to sell the reason for having the the damn customization in game like that on your screen that I feel like that's what it, what it really came down to. They probably just wanted it to be like that. But it, but again, it brings issues because now there's times when you'll switch classes. You'll notice this is like when you switch to to an old weapon again, and your whatever attachment you put on, you have to re put it on again. Damn. And that's just not fun. That must that must have been recorded. And it's and it's also not as seamless as they make it seem. Because when you, uh, I'm gonna try bringing back. Man, what is with the frame rate? My stuff is like freaking out. Oh, gotcha. thank you. Whoa. Yeah, they're done. It was, it was, so a, it was another glitch weather. just now where it was just like. Uh, you, uh, I, I don't know if that, that's gonna be on the on the recording or not, but uh, if you ever if you get a chance, you'll you'll see what I mean. Uh, and as soon as you brought me back, there's just like a white. A it's flash, a flash, game. flash of white light, but it held there lo game. longer than it's supposed to. It's, it's that's how it's that's how it's always been since I played. It doesn't, it doesn't change. Really, I, it, it held there for that long. Yes, I remember it held there for that long. You, you get a little bit of immunity for a couple seconds as well, so it's like you, you can't die. Is it die supposed to blind you when you yes. can't see your screen? For some reason, they okay, decided so someone... that, that needs to not be a thing. Because yeah. for like those good three or five seconds, I couldn't see a damn thing. Yep, and it happens every single time. And I think I think that's another thing. If you're gonna have a specialist like a medic, they should be able to revive people a lot faster than than everyone else. I get that they they don't want to bring everybody back at 100, percent but that's not enough. I feel. Not to mention, like I'd rather have defibrillators like that you can equip. I don't know if maybe that's in the full game because I know we saw in the portal. You know, the characters running around with defibrillators, so I'm wondering if that's gonna be a gadget later on. It's just not a gadget that they put in the beta. But they have that little health pistol thing. Oh, shoot. I actually didn't think about that. Yeah, you can't just, like, use the defibrillators. Just yeah, like, it's like. Which, like, again, you. again, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna hold a little bit of judgment for it because it might be one of those situations where it, it's in the game. But like, you know, because once you, because I, I would assume that one, maybe once you get the defibrillators, you don't have to do the whole old square crap. You just click and revive. You know what I mean? And yeah, it, it I, I don't faster. know why they, I don't know why they remapped so many stuff and they didn't give you the option to actually, uh, I don't know why I'm shooting. They didn't even give you the option to actually <coughs> change any of that stuff back. Yeah. Very, very odd choice. Very odd choice. Like, yes. why would you change Thank something you. that? It's been in, in the bat that's been in the battlefield games for a long time, at least like the modern day ones. You know? Yeah. Uh, have you uh, have you tried any of the vehicles yet? I've 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 gone through the trouble of actually testing pretty much all of them. I rode in a helicopter, but I have not like flown it. And I haven't flown a plane either. Reloading. And what? that's that's about it. Some other stuff. I drove like it's, it's, I'm papers. not. It's really strange. Oh, and a tank. Yeah, I yeah. have not. I have not used a tank. Why is uh, is flying really fun. strange? Tank is very fun uh, when it works, but um, no, flying, flying. Yeah, it's a little bit strange. It's hard to get used to for the helicopters. Like I, I did it a couple times, and it's, it, it just was practice. You get it, but it's definitely one of those things that you have to put in some effort to to get. Oh, that's cool. To get used to it. But it is fun. It is fun. That was my first time actually seeing the launch, not being dead. Yeah, that's pretty neat. But um, did you? Uh, do you have any ammo? I have none. I don't know how to record. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have any ammo. That'll be uh. The, it was with. That's another thing with everyone looking kind of like you know similar. I I got it. Sometimes I forget who the ammo person is. The ammo person is the medic, which is weird. I got 10 bullets. I know I know people was complaining about that too and I see now after I've started running out of stuff that 
they you should probably always keep an ascendant mag or something because you run out of bullets like pretty quickly. Yeah, you do. You don't you don't get enough enough ammo to start. They did have um. We had five health. Dang, I was I almost killed him. Ah. Uh, yeah, what was it? The, um. One of our objectives is no longer secure. Goddamn. Let's see. Troops are assaulting Bravo 1. Oh, you little bastard. Peek your head out. Well, troops are assaulting something, but they suck at it. Somebody <laughs> should probably do something about that. Get oh, out yeah, there and fix that. I was going to say, it's a little bit... It's a, when you're flying, it's, it feels a little bit, like, stiff sometimes. But when it's, like, when it's like riding smooth, it's good. It's, like, I think it's... But I think it's just handling on my part, really. I don't think it's the, the vehicle themselves. No, the the, never... the land vehicles uh, feel like that too. Like they're really okay, stiff yeah. when 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 it's um, especially you can feel it when it's turning. When you're, when you're, yeah, when you're making those sharp turns, you can definitely feel it. Yeah. I was just like, wow, they they just what is going on with these vehicles? They play way worse than like the last couple of games. Cover me, I'm reloading. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! He's gonna kill me! He's gonna kill me! He's gonna kill me! Am I gonna make it? Oh, he got me! <laughs> oh, that wasn't even him. It was somebody else. It was Sin Sensi. Screw you, Sensi. Go to hell. Revive me. Revive your medic. Oh, you died. Oh, well, I can't save you. I'm sorry. Oh, no, seriously, I can't save her. Oh, I need help here. Please. oh did I kill him? Yeah, I killed him, but then they got the last bullet. <laughs> we traded the last bullet for each other. <laughs> That was, that there, was there is a little bit of there's worse. a little bit of trades. There are a little bit of trades in the game. But that's kind of, that's kind of weird cuz he started shooting first and I'm pretty sure he has an assault rifle and I have an SMG, but somehow it, I got better range. Somehow it still works. Me. I don't know. But it happens too, man. Can you still um can you spot people? I didn't even try. You can, but it doesn't work like the same, I feel. Is it is it like Battlefield's five way of spotting people, which completely sucks? It's kind of like that, yeah. Where it kind of completely sucks. Take the first day. Like it doesn't really show a whole lot. That word. Oh my god. Don't let me die over here. Are they? Is, that, is that our people? Is that? No, yeah, the, the, the people, people on the rooftop. I'm over by the uh, the rocket launch. Um, no, I'm I'm over here C2. by the the tower. Oh, I'm on I'm on A1. I'm we're on trying, the helicopter. We're trying to take take the rocket area, but we they keep they keep falling down here. They keep getting deployed here, and they're actually fighting pretty hard. Yeah, the little, the little bastards, man. Yeah, we it. Oh no, I'm getting shot at. In the tower somehow. When even though it's just friendlies up here, yeah. I hope the dude's name was Sellout. Is that, that's what I'm trying to feel. I, the dice is starting to do a little bit. Bro, they've they've been there, my god. <laughs> the, yeah, they they was there back in 2015 when Battlefront came out. They, they, they... <laughs> yeah, that's that's <laughs> they 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 You're been a little, they a been too late they, Having a lot of like you know screwy decisions. They're abandoning the fight. We've won this. Ah, oh, victory. We actually, yeah. we still still ended up winning. My uh, thing is, you can't also also you can't see your whole like score or everything else either. Yeah, the whole the whole interface kind of sucks, man. It's yeah. I, I remember I, I, I didn't it, like it but... in Battlefield Five either, and I, I I don't like like it here. Um, I hate the fact that you can't cause my stuff in menus, like like you said, like you can't even do it on the main menu, which is very weird. I don't know. Um, from from what I'm seeing so far, it it, it plays it plays like a Battlefield game. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, like if if you wanted more Battlefield, you're gonna get more Battlefield. I'm gonna have to get used to basically how it plays compared to the more recent ones. Um, Battlefield One, you already know is. Def definitely one of my favorites, if not, if probably not my favorite, even though I played four way more than I did one. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Uh, four is probably like my my second favorite. Uh, yeah, so I mean, compared to the Battlefield 5, I already kind of start starting to like this a little bit more. I hope they fix the glitches. There's some extra stuff like what we talked about earlier that needs to be added in or at least needs to be uh, fixed up a bit, tightened up a bit. Um, I hope the full game's like that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it day one or not because now I'm kind of nervous about the launch. I know this is supposed yeah. to be an older build, <laughs> but I really don't want a Battlefield 4 situation, but I haven't had a situation like that in a while. Battlefield 1 launched uh, relatively well. I think 5 launched it uh, pretty, pretty good as well. Uh, uh, besides Battlefield 1, I haven't played a Battlefield game on launch in a while. I think yeah. Hardline was like the last one I did play on launch. Gosh, but well, see, but Hardline, Hardline was such a strange Battlefield. Such yeah. a strange Battlefield. That definitely, it was, it was definitely something different. I honestly keep forgetting that it's uh, part of the uh, Battlefield line of games. But alright man, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, for people that stuck around, thank you for watching. Thank you, Shadow, for uh, featuring on this, and we're probably gonna play a couple more games, and we'll see where it goes from here. But that's our that's our view on Battlefield 2042, and I'm gonna take a hiatus from YouTube for a bit, so I'll be back in November, and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.